Hi, it's Ian here again at the Hocking Homes Real Estate Team in Barry. I'm here today with uh, Catherine Whitehead. Um, Catherine is a, a lawyer at uh, AIM Whitehead. And today we're specifically talking to perhaps more of our, our senior population who are thinking of downsizing. Um, maybe the children have left home. Um, so, you know, the, the 50 plus uh, sort of group and uh, all the way up really to maybe the, the 70s. And uh, at some point here, Catherine, the family leaves home and people start to, to downsize. And there's some... There's some nuances here that we really want to, to go through for our, for our sellers. Um, particularly when you downsize, it can be an emotional time uh, mm -hmm. as much as anything else. And uh, particularly from that, there's usually some money that's left over somewhere. Um, usually when people downsize, big house in the country, whatever gets sold, mm -hmm. smaller home gets purchased, condo, something like that. Um, what kind of advice could we be given to our downsizing sellers? Well, it be prepared that it'll be a bit of an emotional time for you that you may not expect. It might be out of the blue, even on cl the closing day. Uh, really ask your, your friends and your family to help out. The downsizing uh, seller often has a lot of stuff that they aren't going to be taking with them to their new uh, property or the condo. Um, part of the downsizing mm -hmm. process is purging. So you're going to want to get some help and start packing and getting uh, moving right away. And once you're getting rid of that stuff, in the end, you usually mean to have more money coming uh, your way. So, you know, we'll be helping by uh, getting those monies deposited to your account. And then you're going to be looking at uh, what your your game plan is. Mm -hmm. Well, monies. talking about game plan, uh, it's, a, it's a good point. But how many people, roughly speaking, don't have a will, would you say, of the population? And I put you on the spot asking that question. I don't know what the statistics are. I know that they're they're quite low. It's you know well under fifty percent. Right. So okay. uh, it, it's not uncommon to hear that people do not have wills. Right? Okay. I mean, obviously that's something you want to think about if you are downsizing, and you do have uh, quite a bit of money that you're going to be investing, and uh, looking to transfer that kind of wealth onto other family members if uh, and when you pass away.